Hey, John here. I know we've been teasing about this collection that we purchased for a few episodes now, and we've shown you a couple of boxes here and there, but it's a rainy day out and I've got nothing to do, so why don't we crack open a few of these bins? All right, so I'm gonna hand hold the camera and you know go through this stuff one-handed to give a little bit of a recap basically we were told you know come get the stuff pack it up and you know take it out of here we have sort of an idea of what we have but we haven't gone through some of these bins to really see exactly what's in each one we'll crack open this first bin maybe get to you know two or three of them and we'll see what's inside Got a little green hornet. This is a newer one. Looks to be from, I don't know what the year is on this. A little dusty. It's got a $85 sticker on it, but I don't know how old that sticker is. Frame here. So I don't know if it's 1941. That is it. Not cool. So it looks like just a wooden frame prints on particle board. So 1941 is a film directed by Steven Spielberg from the late 1970s and starred Jim Belushi. The short plot of the movie is shortly after Pearl Harbor. People in Los Angeles were freaking out that they may be the next targets, and the movie is just kind of them freaking out about, you know, potential attack. I'm not, this looks like a really good print. I'm not sure who made this, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a graphic directly embedded and laminated to, you know, a piece of particle board, and then it's got a little wooden frame on the back. This is definitely going in my collection, for sure. And then more stuff in here. We got Aurelia, the, um, it's a warrior nun. Um, I'm not too familiar with anime, but this is a, not quite, I don't know if that figure came in this because it, it was on a card. So you've got, got the video in there. Here's a comic book. Maybe it did come in. Maybe this did come with it. Because here's the card. Oh, that's strange. So this is the back of the card. This is, well, this is the back of the card. But you can see the remnants of where the bubble was. But on the front or back of this card is there's no remnants of the bubble as you can see huh it's interesting so this kind of sat right on top of there like that we got another graphic novel or comic book special edition oh, look at that. too bad the corners bent a little We've got four original plates by Ben Dunn. Oh, those are sealed, so I don't want to... I'm not going to open them. What is up there? Special an oh, animation cells. Oh, that is awesome. You know, I, I didn't grow up, I mean, the, the closest to anime that I ever got to, you know, growing up was Voltron and, and shows like that. Uh, you know, I watched a little bit of G-Force and other ones, but uh, I, I never, never really got back to it after I got older, so. All right, Galaxy Empire, wow, it's dirty. Little Star Wars knockoff there. As far as superpowers go, 
I know I've gone through these. I probably just put these in here as I was moving stuff out. So these I am familiar with. I, I don't remember which exact figures are in here, but I have looked at these before. So we'll just look again. Got a Lex Luthor. Dark side. Got a Robin. It's an unpunched Robin. Flash. El Capitan Marvelous. And I know I butchered that. Sure, if it's, I mean, it, there's something in there. You can hear it moving around. Just quick, quick. Oh, that, oh no, the tape's broken, so. Yeah, it looks like it's, oh, that, uh, those graphics or stickers look pretty rough, like they got water damage or something. Got a cart here. Oh, this is the uh, Indiana Jones. Uh, Cairo set. Uh, we have a couple of those up on our eBay store right now, but, but those are in packages, so this is just a, a loose version of it. You know, they, they're getting ready to re-release the uh, those Indiana Jones figures. I wonder if they'll include the uh, they'll include the that Cairo set. Is it, oh, is it a poster? Let me see if I can set this down and see if I can get this. Uh... So it, it looks like it's from seven, 1976, the old uh, Shogun Warriors. I thought it was a poster, but it looks to be a, cat or a calendar. And crazy enough, I had this exact Shogun Warrior when I was a kid. I don't remember his name. But yeah, I used to shoot off his fist. This is had some great artwork back then. It was great artwork today, but. Flex camera. Now I haven't done a lot of medium format camera work, but uh, interesting. I wonder if there's any film in here. It's a nice camera. Could use a little cleanup, but. And the dials all seem to work. Another Nikon F camera. So Nikon, I started shooting with a Nikon FE camera. And this is a bit older than the one I had. It's got a flash shoe, and I'm not sure what this mechanism on top is. Maybe a self-timer or something? Not quite sure. Shutter still works. All right, let's see this bag. Star Trek freeze sickles. Sealed. Look, you got Kirk, Spock, and McCoy. I gotta leave a comment if you want me to freeze these and uh, try them out. I can't promise anything. I got some Astro Boy stickers. And it looks like some Depole miniatures. Just the boxes. Have to see what uh available during 1988. Doesn't say the what kind of characters were in here. We've got some Lone Ranger slides. Oh, I think these went with a slide viewer. It's 
it's not like a view master, but it's more, you know, that you put your slides in and then you could, like it would sit like this and it would kind of go across and you would view all the, I'm not sure you can, if you can see those. The Lone Ranger, if any of you remember Captain Kangaroo. Superman. So there's a whole bunch of them. Casper. Alfie Kenner. Popeye. Bozo the Clown. Thor. All right, I had to readjust the camera there for a second. I wonder if we'll find the player for those slides. See some more superheroes. We got Brainiac, unpunched card, but it got it's got a little warping to well, a lot of warping to it. We have an unpunched Hawkman. These cards, man, these are really dirty. Cards a little warped. Oh, brand new Star Trek. Flip flops from 1979. I don't think they've ever been worn. Six dollars. What a deal. Little those Veraview lenticular pieces on top. A random construction worker. This is Marks. It's like Captain Kurt. Lead or probably a lead miniature or pewter or something. So the bubble came off the card, but it's all still there. From Heritage Models. Wizard of Oz Mego figure. Is his axe in there? Yep, his axe is right there. I get it. All right, got some more action figures here. Indiana Jones, German mechanic. If you remember him, he got uh, torn up by the propeller of the airplane. The cards up here is torn and Nicely replaced with some scotch tape. Bubble's got a little bit of yelling to it, but I mean, other than this, the card's in pretty decent shape. A little bend there. And all of this stuff will eventually be on our eBay store, so keep an eye out up there. All right, yeah, so here's some card figures I've already looked at. Here's the Joker. Unpunched. You got a Batman unpunched. He's got a crease across the middle there. Uh, you got Martian Manhunter and Mr. Miracle. Looks like somebody was opening the box and caught it with the utility knife. Looks like we got some Marvel figures in here. These might be marks. We got Iron Man. We got the Falcon. We got the Submariner or Prince Namor. He says these are from 1981. And then there's the Incredible Hulk. Nineteen eighty one activated Marvel superheroes. We got a Star Trek The Wrath of Khan figure from oh from Comic Con, 2007 Comic Con exclusive. Bag is really dirty. We got another Comic Con exclusive. Oh, it's autographed. 2006 Comic Con. 
the Mira Mira Marlena Moreau figure. Barbara Luna, Marlena Moreau. He's got a phaser, communicator. That's kind of nice little autograph. autograph. The problem with autographs is you gotta, unless you see the person signing them, or, you know, you can have an authenticator look at them, but, uh, Oh, here's another Wrath of Khan figure. Oh, Dan will be happy. One of those little planes. Got quite a few of these. Box of little more action figures. Ooh, these are, these are rough. If you guys remember V, the uh, TV show from the 80s, these look like I don't know what, like there is no detail in those figures, if you can see that. I wonder if the heat got to them or something. Oh, here's the aliens. Miniatures. These look like Star Trek miniatures. The emblem as the base. It looks like a Huru. Yep. Huru. That's Crusher. Another Uhuru. Looks like McCoy. Wait, right. Yep. McCoy. There's Sulu. And this Chekhov, is that Chekhov? Yep, Chekhov. And Deanna Troy. I got a really old Popeye figure here. Oh, look at that. Wooden, it's almost like a marionette style, but I don't see any strings or places where strings used to be. Looks like a hole right there where his pipe used to be. That's too bad he's missing his pipe. I mean, really dirty, but a little elbow grease cleaning right up. China Engineering Model Works. You guys can see that. Star Trek buttons. There's quite a few. I'm not going to go through all of them, but you get an idea. Some more plastic figures. Now, the majority of these figures, I, I haven't really seen these before, but these little heads, I just want to point these out. I put those in there because I'm not quite sure what to do with them. But if you look, that's the Fonz. And it says 1976 Paramount, Paramount Picture Corporation. There's two of them. And these, these are resin. This isn't plastic, um, like the rubber heads. I mean, it looks like... It, it, I was speaking to somebody about these, and I think these are the Mego heads. I don't know what stage these were at, but, you know, a little more research on these, because I really want to find out what these are. And here's just some, a bag of just little plastic miniatures, little boy, oh, these must be fairy tales, so it's little boy blue, or nursery rhymes. Who's this? Giant. Maybe that's from Jack and the Beanstalk, maybe. Just a whole bag of goodies in there. Also, some 
Star Trek pins. I'm not going to open this bag, but... See that? Spock pen. Star Trek V. Unical. It's 92 Unical. I don't know what that's doing in there, but most of them are. There's a Nestle Star Trek from the Rose Parade, 1992. There's a couple of them in there. So these are, these are Mark's Fireball figures. It's like a space set. I don't know the names of these characters. Almost looks like Bender from Futurama. Star Trek coffee mug. Oh, maybe some Captain Action pieces in there. And just some random shorts. Yeah, I think this actually goes to Captain Action Batman, maybe? His grappling hook goes on here. I recognize this piece. I'm not sure what this goes to. Looks like we have a Japanese pilot from Williams Models, World War II. Captain Midnight's plane detector. I don't know if something was supposed to go in here, but it's just a little, we'll call it a pinhole. And maybe it was so you look up in the sky and it's it's just like a tunnel, like almost like if you were looking through a, a paper towel tube, but it kind of focuses your vision so you could see planes. I know a lot of the items that we have in the collection are, oh yeah, see, right there. It's a Falk Wolf. At 10,000 feet. So it's like a, not necessarily a telescope, but a, you know, telescope for kids. Got some Reaper miniatures for Dungeons and Dragons and miniature role playing. Got a cave troll, an ogre chieftain, and an orc warrior. Burger King bag, Fantastic Four. Got a Superman, oh, Superman cassette tape case. A little model piece for a, it's a vacuum formed cockpit. And oh, just a Burger King toy. Got a little leather outfit. I'm not, I don't know who this goes to. Anybody knows, please let me know. Oh no, they're not melted. Oh, it's little cats. Oh, there's a dog. Another dog. I don't see any markings on it. Oh, there. Walt Disney. Got a Secret Wars laser pistol. I know they're coming out with a Secret Wars movie. I don't think next year, but maybe the following year. Still seal. Oh, it's got a look. It's separating a little bit from the back, but it's it's trying to hang on there. Get it before it falls off. Got some Batman prints. These are. I don't know what these are. Maybe promotional pieces, the Batmobile, the 
black cycle. They look like photo prints. Yeah, this is this is on photo Kodak paper, so now we're kind of getting it up. More more slides and movie still uh, movie cells. These little containers of them. I got aerators. Yeah, these now these I've seen as well. Um, I'd actually found those earlier and. They must have just made their way into this box. That nice carded piece of the little cards are a little warped, but still sealed on the on the Flexi Space Pirate Captain Harlock. Looks like an anime figure. It's like a it's got a vinyl cape. Got some Batman from the Daily Oklahoman newspaper from 1967. Some Batman comic strips from the newspaper. Great condition. I mean, as good a condition as you could probably expect for newspaper clippings that have just been laying in the bottom of a box. It's like some Marvel stickers, Iron Man. And the Mandarin. Some German uh, decals for airplane models. Got some more Star Trek pins. I'll put those in that bag. Got a little Davy Crockett Indian fighter pin back. These are probably train miniatures. Yeah. Got little nude fairies. Sure, what scale that is. It's usually the HO scale. Got Who's Who Mystery Box. This one's open, so not much of a mystery as to who's inside, but it's Shazam. There's another one. All right. Three, two, one, guess. Superman. Little model, looks like you have to assemble him. Oh, you got a Secret Wars. Wow, it's super dirty. You can see that in there. It's a Secret Wars Doomstar Kang glider. We actually have the Kang figure up on our eBay store right now. I don't know if he comes in. It's just. Oh, it does, yeah, Doomstar with Kang. So Kang comes in this kit. I have to get this cleaned up. This is a really nice piece. All still sealed. Some Star Trek patches. Oh, these are, I don't know how those got in there. Some Lego keychains. They're not part of this. These look like 19, it could be 1983, I'm guessing. Little rubber Star Trek heads. There's Spock, Scotty, who's that down one? And Klingon and the Enterprise. I think those are pencil toppers, actually. Got the little holes in there, you put them on top of your pencil. Oh, the, <laughs> I think everybody had one of these when I was a kid, a little space pen that by Fisher. He said you could write, use these to write upside down. And some Japanese calligraphy brushes. I'm assuming that's what these are, yeah. Hopefully that's coming through. Careful putting them back in. It's got a little crack in it. And that does it for the, oh, a couple more, did I? 
These might be the same ones, if not, there they are, again. And then just some little envelopes and some trash in the bottom there. So that does it for this one. Let me get this packed up again and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Uh, about ready to crack open bin number two. I already see, I've already seen these socks, but these are incredibly cool. Green Hornet, three pack of socks, little graphic print on each one of them. It's from 1966. Still sealed in the original package. These, I think we, yeah, I knew we had. So these are not the Repops. These are the actual original Mego Star Trek figures. You have Spock and Uhuru. Another Uhuru. And a Dr. McCoy. We got Captain Kirk and the Klingon. Another Uhuru and Scotty. Remco. Oh, it's the old movie monsters uh, from Remco. Got your glow in the dark uh, creature from the Black Lagoon. Got Dracula. These are from what year are these? 1980. There's Frankenstein. And last but not least, another Dracula. This is the Phantom. Just so we're clear Dracula, Phantom. Dracula, Phantom. Got a Green Hornet Punch Ball. So that's that's pretty stiff, but looks like it got some water damage on the package, but not too bad for being 50, 60 years old or so, almost 60 years old. Oh, we got some more 1941 stuff. Got your John Belushi, your Japanese pilot, little parachutists. Some more parachutists. Yep. Captain Kurt. 96 cents. Wow. Another Captain Kurt. And Mr. Spock. And a, a squirt gun. With click action noise from Ahi brand. I think Ahi had a whole bunch of different licenses because their packaging, like we have some Space 1999 packaging, exactly the same packaging, just the you know same fonts, just Space 1999 instead with the the graphics from from Space 1999, but they look exactly like this. I'm sure we'll get to some of it at some point. That's some Star Trek the motion picture photo cards with bubble gum and tops. It's like a whole case of them. 1979. What's this? Star Trek Interspace Communicator. Oh, it's not sealed. It was from 1974. Oh, wow, look at that. It's almost like a cup and string communicator. I don't think it's ever been taken out of the package. Oh, well, maybe it, maybe the string was taken out. It looks like something was right there. From Lone Star brand. Look at this big boy. Oh, I think this is, I, I know what this is. This is a Astro Boy figure. Yeah, 
see that. Well, that's got to be. Ah, pull your pants up, man. You're on TV. It's probably what 18 inches tall. A and R brand. I don't know if he's got any markings. 1991 Billiken. It's not that old. Well, I say not that old, but that's 30 years ago. Star Trek Tricorder. Oh, it's like a, a tape deck. It's, I mean, it's, it's still in there. This thing's heavy. A little damage on the face there. Look at that. Still in the original styrofoam. Ah, what the hell. Let's take it out. Like it, so maybe somebody did take this out. Oh, it looks like the cord is stuck in the styrofoam, but it's got a little scuff mark there. But it looks brand new. I mean, stickers are nice. How's this slide open? Oh wow, look at that. Little graphics. And there's the tape. Tricorder tape. Amigo. This is awesome. I'm going to put this away later. Be a little more careful putting it back in there. And Lego really did have the corner of the market on just all kinds of different licenses from the 60s and 70s. Looks like we got a Space Knight. This is not the what I was referring to earlier, you know, where they all look the same. This is a Remco uh, Space 1999 gun, stun gun. It's got a little sound. Um, it's a little three-function actuator, it says. This is, what year is this? Nineteen seventy six Remco. I'm not going to open it, but it's still in there. Another. Well, these must have been big. But another recorder, but Space 1999 this time. A little chest pack radio. It's like a Mr. Microphone where you could talk into the microphone and your voice comes out the little speaker there. $9.99 from Carl's. Well, originally $15, and they dropped it to $9.99. All right. Doctor Who Cyberman figure. I'm not sure what year this is. This is Dennis Fisher, um, 1976. Oh, yeah, he's still in there. Nice looking action figure. Real clean. Oh, we got a Combat Joe from Takara. World War II German fighter. Oh, there wasn't too much in this box. Not, not too much small stuff anyway. What is this? Mill Mascara's Pro Wrestling Game. Still sealed. I used to watch WWF when I was a kid. I'm not, I'm not familiar with, with Mill Mascara's. Star Trek Bot Bag. From Ahi. So here's that same... Uh, branding, same, you know, logo. Okay, got a 
Robotech figure, Rook Bartley. Now this is the Matchbox, um, so this was from the 80s. A little three and three quarter figure. Oh, we got a couple of Star Trek notepads for school. Got Captain Spock, or Captain, Captain uh, Kirk and Spock. Another Ahi brand, you can tell by the, the font. Frisbee. Boy, Kirk looks angry. It's from 1974. Looks like it got a little water damage to it. Um, last two things. Uh, let's see. Book and record set, Star Trek. Still sealed in the original wrapping. Peter Pan Industries, 1976. All right, that does it for these two bins. So that does it. Um, I hope you had a good time going through this stuff with me. I know I had a good time, like I said, I packed a lot of this stuff in here, so I, I kind of had an idea, but a lot of the stuff I hadn't really looked at. Like I hadn't taken the time to, you know, hold it in my hand and look at it. It was just more get it in the bin, get it packed up, get it on the truck, get out of here. So if you like what you see, subscribe to our channel, give this video a like, and hit the notification bell so it'll let you know whenever we upload a new video. Thanks.